Well, just gorgeous weather across the Miami Valley on this uh, eve of the 4th of July. Very low humidity, very comfortable out there, and uh, temperatures have been in the 70s for the most part today, which is well below normal. The big headlines, mostly clear tonight, not as cool overnight, with lows in the 60s, and then warmer and more humid on the 4th with a high near 90, maybe an isolated thunderstorm late in the day. More summer-like, though, into next week with uh, increasing chances of showers and storms by the middle of next week and highs in the 90s. Now, if you're going out to see fireworks tonight, like in downtown Dayton, temperatures will hold in the 70s for the most part through the evening. No problems whatsoever getting your place to see the fireworks. Our high today, our current temperature of 78 degrees, and our low this morning was chilly at 57. That's about 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. Our current reading 78. Look at that dew point, only 53. That's really low for this time of year, but it'll be creeping up tomorrow. And we have light northwest winds. Temperatures around the entire Miami Valley are all in the mid and upper 70s. A couple of spots are right around the 80 degree mark right now. And for the 4th of July, you can see that our temperatures are going to be up around 90 degrees for tomorrow. Partly sunny skies, it'll be more humid, and there is a slight chance of a late afternoon thunderstorm for your holiday tomorrow on the 4th of July. But right now, we don't see anything on Doppler 2 HD. Skies are clear across all of the Miami Valley. We had just a few light showers in northeast Ohio earlier today. Those have dissipated. They touched Logan County just a little bit, but high pressure is holding sway across the Miami Valley tonight, and it's giving us the clear skies and calm conditions. You see low pressure there in the mid-Atlantic causing a lot of rain up in the northeast, but the most rain is going on down in the Caribbean with Tropical Storm Elsa. It was upgraded to a hurricane, but now it's been dropped back to a tropical storm with winds right around 70 miles an hour as it churns down in the Caribbean, it'll start to curve to the north and west, and it should move along the west side, the Gulf side of Florida during the day on Tuesday. Fortunately, it looks like it's gonna remain only a tropical storm as it approaches the U.S., and it won't hamper the problems they're having in Miami with the recovery efforts there, so that's good news, at least, with this uh, tropical storm, Elsa. The future track at our neck of the woods is showing just partly cloudy conditions over the Miami Valley, periods of clouds and sun over the next day or two, and increasing humidity, but really not much organized rain to speak of, just a few clouds moving on through the area. For tonight, 66 degrees will be the low temperature with light northwest winds, very nice. And for your 4th of July, look for a high right around 90 with northwest winds continuing and only an isolated threat of a thunderstorm. The seven day forecast is calling for temperatures to be over 90 degrees through the early part of next week with increasing chances of showers and thunderstorms right into Wednesday and Thursday. All right, thank you, Robert Hutch is here with a look at